different ways to embellish a chord and I think the easiest way is probably to move one of the notes of the chord up or down. And this is really what I did in this chord progression I just played. You know, I was playing a G major chord and then I moved some of the notes within the chord up and down. I did the same thing for the other chords as well, the C major chord, which is basically the same thing. And the D major as well. And also a minor chord, the E minor chord. The embellishment always occurs in the same place, meaning I'm always moving the third of the chord. If I play the G major chord, the third will be the note B, which is played on the G string fret number four, down to the second. This is a beautiful way to embellish a chord. We can do it you know, with the C major chord. We are moving the E, which is the third of the C major chord, down to the second, which is the note B. Same thing for the D major. We're moving the F sharp down to the E. And also for a minor chord, we're moving the note G, which is the third of the E minor chord, down to the second, which is the F sharp. Now this embellishment is beautiful, it sounds really pop and it's really chord friendly, it doesn't really change the chord that much, but it does add a lot of melody and beauty to the chords. Now obviously I want to show you how to put it into practice, it's basically what I just showed you, but let me just kind of, you know, show you in details what I was playing at the beginning of the video. In this video I'm going to be using my electric guitar guys and I'm also running through my Line 6 Helix. Um, with the amp and speaker simulation. I'm also using a lot of reverb and delay. You don't have to use the same gear guys, however, a little bit of delay and reverb will help you sustain these chords beautifully. So if you have it, you don't have to have the helix. You can use any plugin or pedal or pedal board if you have it, just plug it in and add a little bit of color to these chords. Now we are in the key of G major, we're going to be playing a G major chord, a C major chord, an E minor chord, and then we're going to go back to the C, back to the G, and the D major chord. We're going to play here. So the very first step, just familiarize yourself with the chords. For the G major chord, we're going to have a regular G major chord, but also we're gonna have the G string on fret number two and on fret number four with the third of the chord, okay? So memorize these three voices. We're gonna do the same thing for the C major all the way up to the fret number eight. We're not playing the D string. Uh, we're mainly gonna have two chords here. The first one is with the G string fret number seven and fret number nine. But we're also gonna have it with the G string open. We have the E minor chord, which is a bar chord on fret number seven, fret number nine here, and fret number eight on the B string. And we're gonna move the fret number eight down to the fret number seven. It's a very simple way to play the E minor chord. And we're also gonna have the D major chord, which is the same shape as the C, yeah? So the fret number 10, the G string fret number nine, and fret number 11. First step, just familiarize yourself with these beautiful chords. Now, rhythmic wise, we are in 6 8, so we have six counts per measure. And so we're gonna have to play the chords like this one, two, three, and four, five, six. One, two, Now the embellishment is going to be played like this. We have the chord one time, then the bass, and then we have the second of the chord. So we're gonna put down the fret number two, and then we strum the chord again, and then we hammer the fret number four, which is the third of the chord. And we're always gonna approach uh, this embellishment like this with this hammer on technique. And then from here we can go back to the fret number two, Can see 
I'm kind of creating a melody within the chord. And I can decide to go all the way up to the uh, third again. Now the cool thing is that we can use the same concept on the C major chord. So I'm doing the same thing. I'd start with the embellishment, so I will uh, play the chord with the fret number seven. The hammer on fret number nine, then the bass, and then the melody, which is on the G string fret number nine, uh, the fret number seven, the G string open, bass, and then the same hammer on. So. Now I'm sure that you mute the D string, it doesn't sound great. So I'm kind of, you know, lightly touching the D string with the index finger. And then we can play a nice melody like this with the bass. And then just three notes on the G string fret number seven, nine, and the B string fret number seven. Now the next chord is the E minor chord. Um, you want to put down just a bar chord as we learn it, but without the note G. So we're going to play the fret number seven. You strum the chord and then you hammer the fret number eight. And this is a beautiful approach. Then the bass. You can play the lowest string. You do the same hammer on after the bass. And we finish with the G string fret number nine which kind of makes sense as the melody goes down, so. The C major chord. Back to the G major. And we finish with the D major chord. I'm gonna do it twice with the hammer on. Of course, when we repeat the chord progression, we can change it up a little bit. For example, I can arpeggiate the top E string. I will change the melody slightly. After the hammer on, I will play the fret number 10 and the E string fret number 7. Back to the C. G. So it's definitely a beautiful way to embellish. Uh, you know, a chord and a chord progression. Now in the next section, we're gonna change things around. We're just gonna play some different chords to give a structure to the exercise. And we're gonna have the A minor nine. The E minor nine. A minor nine. Minor nine is a beautiful chord, just a bar chord on fret number five. It's four strings and the top E string fret number seven. We also play the A string open, then the bass, and the short melody. Just three notes. And then the E minor nine. It's a beautiful chord. Um, it's on four strings. Fret number seven, five, seven, seven. Then the bass, the low E string. And then we play fret number seven on the G and the B string. And then fret number seven and eight. Back to the A minor nine. You can change the melody slightly. Seven, eight, ten. And then the E minor chord again. 
Now I'm playing with the same kind of embellishment, this time I'm just getting rid of both fingers. A minor. embellishment with the hammer on remember to always play uh, the bass before the hammer on so bass bass and D and then we have just three more notes the note G the note A and the note B and we can start again So this is definitely a pretty cool way to embellish a chord progression. Of course, guys, you want to take it step by step, even though, as you can see, you know, it's more or less always the same thing repeated over and over again. And of course, you can come up with a lot of different variations. You don't necessarily have to follow the same melody and the same embellishment uh, that I played in this particular example. Now, I'm going to leave you to practice this chord progression. As always, guys, take it step by step. Let me know if you like the lesson, and I'll talk to you soon.